Emily and Teresa and we're here to talk about selling your house in the winter. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Selling your house. Sit back and listen. We've got some words. <laughs> Something. I don't know. Some. <laughs> so most of you think, well, I don't want to move in the winter. It's too much work. Mm -hmm. Well, here's some pros. Yes. Um, there's not as much inventory around here. Um, Actually, there hasn't been much inventory for a year, two years now. Right. So really, if you're thinking about selling, now is the time to put it on. Um, we, like have said before, February is spring. So Which doesn't make sense here, but let's go with it. Well, it does, though, but that's when everybody starts <laughs> looking online for houses yes. to move in the spring. So if you're thinking about it, list now. But there's also the people who want to buy that need to buy now. So yep. even if your house isn't the coolest house out there... It'll look way better to those people who need a house and there's only two to choose from. So, you know, that is a big pro. Absolutely. Um, it also can be a time to highlight your home's energy efficiency, which means, does it keep your home warm? Do the windows leak? So yeah. if that's the case, that's now is a good time to do it. If it's not the case, maybe winter's not the best time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You definitely don't want to highlight the bad things about your house. No. <laughs> um, buyers are more motivated right now. Like they, they need to get, if they're buying in the winter, they need to get into a house. Um, it's not like in the summer where they're just kind of window shopping. Maybe we'll go do something. Right. So. Like it'd be nice to find a house, but we're no rush. Yeah. Winter, be, winter buyers are like, let's get it now. Yeah. Let, what's open? Let's do it. Yeah. It's cold out. Let's, let's, let's shop and hurry up because it's cold out. Right. So the other big perk is because there's not as many people who are buying and selling in the winter, you will get a more focused real estate agent because there's not as many people doing. Yeah. Well, and they're, they're busy doing other things. You know, people are busy doing other things too, sports, stuff like that. Right. So there's lots of stuff you can, you know, we're, we're more focused because we were like, oh, we need the checks. Mm-hmm. And there's not like 72 other people that they have to help at the same time. Yep. Yeah, so you get more dedicated time. More one-on-one. -on -one, yep. Which is always a good thing. Absolutely. <laughs> what about cons? There's well, probably some cons. There is. There is. <laughs> you have to work harder to make it look better. So you have to make sure that your driveway is plowed and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. um, you don't want them to pull up and be like, oh, we can't get to the house because there's seven feet of snow. Yeah. So you got to really be on that. Um, there's also, because like we talked about, there's less people out there shopping, which also means then that you probably will not have as many multiple offer situations as you would in the summertime. Yeah. So I mean, you might get one, you might not get six. Yeah. But that's okay because normally the first one's the best one, actually. That's true. Normally you get the, you know, if you get it out and it's priced correctly, that's probably going to be your best offer. Mm -hmm. And why not take it right away and not have to deal with hundreds of people or, yeah. you know, Just five, six. Get it done. Yeah. So while there is both pros and cons, don't be afraid to sell your house in the winter. No. Nope. And we're here for you. Exactly. So coming up, we will have a what to do if you want to sell your house in the winter. So watch for that. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.